I'm Josie Foster and I run a company called Furnishing Studio. Please refer to the website if you want to know more. Here is a guide to soft furnishings. How to make a pillowcase. Now there are two types of pillowcases. The simple one, which is just a bag, slightly bigger than the pillow itself. And then the other one has got an inner flap, which the pillow tucks into inside. Here I have an ordinary pillowcase and I will demonstrate how to make the other one using this ordinary pillowcase, which is very easy, very easy. So this pillowcase is inside out. It's got a nice embroidered side to it and an applique edge. And on the other side, it's perfectly plain. So the perfectly plain side I would have hemmed the end and then stitched the two sides together. In this case, it is a French seam, so you would have to start on the right side, stitch that together first, turn it back to inside out and stitch it again. And that gives you the neat French seaming, which is sealed which is the better way to use to do them. So once you've done that, your pillowcase is finished, you turn it to the right side and that's it. If you're going to you make one with a flap, you need to cut the back of the pillowcase, the one that hasn't got the embroidery, but the plain side, you need to cut that slightly longer. I would say another 25 centimeters and you hem that bit. When you stitch the two sides together, obviously that back side is going to be much longer. So you stitch it over the front side and you stitch the sides together. When you turn it to the right side, that flap is going to tuck nicely inside there and that will keep the pillow from falling out. Not that they ever fall out, they never fall out. So, you know, you can get away with a plain pillowcase without the flap if you wish to. That is how you make a pillowcase.